Hey guys, it's Nita from Viewer Focus and it's Kevin. Hi. We are in the queue for HTC Vive's press conference. CES 2019 press conference. Uh, last year it was mostly the It was the 5, 5 Pro. Pro and the wireless adapter. This year... We don't do really we... know what they've got. Yeah. We do know they've got 14 demos set up after, but we're not sure if that's individual products or demo stations. Um, this room is quite small, so 14 is quite to fit in there. We're going to tell you later what it's all going to be about. Hey guys, it's Nina from VR Focus, and I'm going to go and try a demo. This is the HTC Vive Pro I. So this has eye tracking inside of the headset. So what you see here is it's going to be me inside of a cockpit, and I'm going to have a look around, and it's going to go and track my eyes. Now, last time I tried eye tracking was with Qualcomm's eye tracking technology, and I noticed that it wasn't working, and I thought maybe that had to do with my Asian eyes. Uh, Kevin's already tried it. He said it worked perfectly fine, but there's a lot of Asians are over here, so I think they kind of have accounted for Asian eyes. So let's go and try it out. Around the edges here, yeah. there's the sensors all around each eye. Oh, okay. So yeah, you, I see them. When you put it on, it'll ask you to uh, calibrate your eyes. Uh-huh. So you just go through that test, and then uh, I'll, I'll reset the cool. experience. Okay? All right, so you can see here that there are sensors over here. So there's, it looks like there's four or four on this on the inside, and one, two, three, four, five on the others on the outer rim here. So there are different sensors. I'm going to be doing a little test to calibrate my eyes, and then I'm going to be going in. All right. So the calibration process was that uh, with the sensors, they tell you to look straight at the blue dot, and there's a blue dot, and then it moves to the right. You look there, and then you look left bottom, right, and then boom. That's calibration done. Afterwards, is uh, you have to change the lever on the headset to kind of change um, the distance between your pupils. So I have to bring it a little bit closer because I think my eyes are a little bit closer together than the previous person who had the headset on. And then boom, that's it. Very easy calibration. I think it took about like 30 seconds. Oh, this is difficult with contact lenses. Okay. Okay. So when there's a blue circle, I have to look at it. First, I have to set the parking brake, so I'm looking at it. Yep. I've set it. Next, I have to lower the canopy. So I'm looking for the next blue dot. There it is. Oh, this is quite claustrophobic. This is so strange. Things are happening with just my eyes looking at them. First, if I find it, where's the main fuel? Uh, I have to set the main power switch. Okay. Set the main power switch. I have to turn on the main lights. This is really weird. The AI is like doing some of the stuff and then asking me to do the other half. I am now flying. How interesting. Woo! I think I'm good. Yeah. Do you see me flying a plane? Yeah. Okay. Thoughts? Thoughts. Uh, mostly it was the AI doing most of the button. So like the AI is telling me where to look. So there's a little button that I have to look at. And so far, it worked really, really well. But I don't feel like there was enough interaction with me to actually say it was 100% accurate.